In this video, I'm going to be ranking every cheat in Red Dead Redemption 2. So there are 37 cheats and I'll be ranking all of them on how fun or useful they are. Also, if you're interested, please go ahead and join the Discord in the description. We could use more members. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the video. Okay guys, so in order to get to the cheat menu, you have to go into your pause menu and hit go to settings. And then obviously, as you can see at the bottom there, you press Y or triangle or whatever. And we're in the cheat section. The first cheat we're going to be activating is you long for sight and see nothing. So basically what this cheat does is it reveals the map and removes the fog of war. So if you were starting over, you could only see the small area that you've been in. This will basically make it that it, you can see everything. Okay, so the next cheat is a full on command. And basically what this cheat is, is it makes your character drunk. So as you can see, John's a little bit drunk over here. So yeah, I put this at number 36 because it was kind of one that's like, it's fun, but it doesn't really, it's not very useful. Okay, so the next cheat we have here is you flourish before you die. So as you can see right now, my stat bars are a little bit lower. My, my health isn't full and my stamina isn't either. So now I've activated the cheat and as you can see my stats are completely back to full so you might be thinking that's pretty useful why is this at 35 well honestly i just think that there's better ones that do more so that's why this one's a little bit low on the list okay so for the next cheat over here we're over here in blackwater so number 34 we have you want punishment and basically what this cheat will do is it will increase your wanted level and as you can see, I am now wanted. So yeah, I can I can basically just cause as much chaos as I want because the next cheat ties right into this one. So at number 33, we have you want freedom. And this cheat does the exact opposite of the previous cheat. So, you know, I don't want to be wanted anymore. I activate the cheat and bam. I'm no longer wanted. So at number 32, we have you revel in your disgrace, I see. So at the moment, you can see my honor is basically maxed out. But let's say you like being the bad guy, you, you prefer to have low honor. Well, all you have to do is activate this cheat and it will decrease your honor. So now my honor is all the way like in the toilet, dude. <laughs> like I am, I am the worst guy around, which, you know, makes this justifiable. <laughs> So at number 31, we have balance. All is balance. And so basically what this cheat does, as you can see at the bottom there, puts my honor back to neutral. Okay, so the next cheat at number 30, we have virtue unearned is not virtue. And this cheat basically just increases your honor to max. So now you are the good guy again. But you know, of course I could commit as many misdeeds as I want to now, because uh, hey, I basically have infinite honor. I can just kill as many people here as I want. Killed a bunch of people, so our honor's a little bit lower now. I use the cheat and boom. So yeah, there you go. Now I have the cheat enabled again and I'm practically immune to being the bad guy. Okay, so moving away from the honor and the wanted level stuff, we have a simple life, a beautiful death at number 29. And what this cheat will do is it'll just give you some basic weapons like a cattleman revolver, Springfield rifle, Lancaster repeater, very basic weapons. Honestly, the Lancaster is pretty good though. So at number 28, we have history is written by fools. So this cheat gives you gunslinger weapons. So it gives you a double barrel shotgun, a shotgun, field revolver, however you say that, and a double action revolver. So a pretty good lineup of weapons there. So at number 27, we have Death is Silence. So this one, I feel like is a bit more interesting. So this one will give you stealth weapons. Ignore the cattlemen. It won't give you a cattleman. It will give you a bow, apparently Molotovs, because, you know, that's very stealthy. Throwing knives, tomahawks, and a machete. What you doing back here? I ain't welcome. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> So at number 26, we have Greed is American Virtue. So what this cheat does is it basically gives you some of the best weapons in the game. So you have the semi-automatic pistol, the Mauser, the pump action, and the bolt action. Some of the strongest long and sidearms in the game. So moving away from the weapons, at number 25, we have You Want Something New. And this cheat basically just creates a random horse for you. I don't think there's a limit to how many times you can do this as well. So you can just go into the settings, go to the cheats, create random horse, go back back out and you should have another horse. Yeah, so you can just spam this. Okay, so number 24, we have keep your dreams light. And this cheat just spawns a little buggy for you. You can also sell this at uh, Emerald Ranch if you want. I don't know why you would do that. Excuse me, folks. Excuse, excuse me. 
Excuse, excuse me, sorry. Okay, so number 23, we have keep your dreams simple. And this one just spawns your little wagon, although I've never seen a wagon like this before. So number 22, we have the best of the old ways. And this one spawns a full on stagecoach right here. So number 21, we have would you be happier as a clown? Okay, it spawned without, oh, okay, there's the horses. <laughs> so I put this at number 21, because it's kind of a unique vehicle. I don't think I've ever gotten this vehicle in free roam. I don't know if you can get this one. Okay. Oh my God. Hello. <laughs> So the next cheat we have is run, run, run. And this cheat spawns you a racehorse. Oh, here's a really cool, unique looking one. So it does change depending on what you spawn, I think, but it will always be a racehorse. So number 19, we have you are a beast built for war. And as you can probably tell by the sounds of it, it creates a war horse. It's a massive freaking horse, dude. At number 18, you have you want more than you have. And this is the last cheat for all the horses and vehicles. And this cheat spawns a superior horse. I mean, you can literally just get the white Arabian for, for zero effort, zero work. Because I mean, and, and who doesn't like that? Because you know, it's the white Arabian. It's a freaking awesome horse, dude. Okay, so cheats 17 to 13 are essentially just different levels of Deadeye. So as you can see here, I can kind of scroll and choose between setting between uh, different levels of Deadeye. And it will also tell you what the different levels of Deadeye will do at the top left. So I can set the level 5 here. As you can see, it'll show me all the critical areas. I can mark things individually. I didn't actually mean to shoot. Or you can go to level one dead eye, which basically will mark as you look at the person. So yeah, this is obviously good for if you're in the story, you're in like chapter two or three, and you want to have level five dead eye. Well, now you can do that with this cheat. This next cheat I can't actually show you, but at number 12, we have share. What share will do is it will purchase all the camp upgrades. So you don't have to lift a finger or spend a cent. Obviously, I can't show you right now because I'm in the epilogue as John, but if if you were playing as Arthur at any point in the story, then you'd be able to purchase all the upgrades without having to do anything. So number 11, we have my kingdom is a horse. So as you can see right now, my horse has level one bonding. But if I activate the cheat, as you can see, my horse's bonding is now increased to max. So at number 10, we have seek all the bounty of this place. Okay, so as you can see, my health cores, all my stat bars have been set to the lowest. So you activate the cheat and bam. So with this cheat, basically, you just get max stats. So going back to earlier when I said that there was a better cheat than just refilling your stab pause. So let's jump off, take some damage here. And there you go. So it not only refills my stab bars, it also fortifies them. So number eight, we have you want everyone to go away. Let's say we're just causing a bunch of trouble around here. Racking up a hell of a bounty. Cops are after you. And you've managed to lock down the town. You simply activate the cheat, and as you can see, everything's back to normal. The town is no longer on lockdown. I'm not sure why the little border around it is still here. Okay, so cheat number seven is eat of knowledge. So to learn every crafting recipe in the game, obviously I already have everything, but this is what it would look like if you have, if you enable the cheat. So this next cheat at number six is vanity, all is vanity. Now I absolutely love this cheat. So what this cheat does is it gives you every outfit in the game. So it even gives you Legend of the East. It gives you all the crafted outfits. So you don't have to do any work for it. Okay, so we've all been here, right? We all, we all hate this. Seriously, I hate it. It drives me insane. When your horse is so far away from you that you can't even whistle for it. At number five, we have better than my dog. And this will increase your horse's whistling range. So you can practically whistle for it at any any place. It doesn't matter how far you are. My horse just magically teleports over here and everything is okay. And I don't want to smash my monitor because my horse is too far away. <laughs> so at number four, we have the lucky be strong evermore. This cheat just gives you infinite stamina. But even better than that, at number three, Three, we have be greedy only for foresight and this cheat just gives you infinite dead eye if I actually activate the cheat. <laughs> this cheat just gives you infinite Deadeye, so you can take as long as you want. You can mark all the people you need to mark, taking as much time as possible. Take all these people out for no reason because I'm a psychopath. <laughs> so tying in very well with that, at number two, we have abundance is the dullest desire. And this cheat gives you infinite ammo, so you can go as much as you want with Deadeye. Now, you do still have to reload. And at number one, the greatest cheat on my list is greed is now a virtue. So let's say you just want to get a new haircut. You want to change John's style up a bit, but you're flat broke. Well, 
This cheat allows you to add $500 every time you press it. So you can just spam this as many times as you want. And uh, we can we can end up with like 20k here. And there you go. We now have money to get John a haircut. So that was my ranking list for all the cheats in Red Dead Redemption 2. Let me know if you agree with my list. Let me know what your list would be. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new around here and you want to see more. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one.